going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, I've did a lot of videos as of late about domestic violence incidents just been popping up en masse in the news lately. And like I said, sometimes this stuff is not always about men doing stuff to women. It's about women doing stuff to men. And uh, this video right here is a perfect example of that. But also in this video, there's always a lot of denial from the victim. This story right here is out of Lakewood, Ohio. This happened a month ago, but the woman who stabbed her husband uh, pictured here. Her name is Quantes. I mean, her name is Ariel Walters, I guess, because she's his wife. This man right here is the husband, Quantes Walters. I don't know this man, and I'm just reporting on this video. But from what I see and what I'm going to show you, this dude seemed like a simp. For real, he do. And I mean, I'm glad he didn't die, but his wife is in jail right now, making her first court appearance yesterday for uh, attempted murder charges. It was an Amber Alert issue and everything. She stabbed this man in the park, beat him up, then stabbed him in the park and ran away on foot because they don't have a vehicle. She ran away on foot for 11 days. He was gone while he was in, in, in the hospital fighting for his life. Watch what happened. Watch what he does when he goes in, in, in the courtroom and they interview him today. This right here is mind boggling. I don't know why people will defend those that try to kill them because I don't know. I guess what's love got to do with it. Check this mess out. Everybody makes mistakes. And I don't need this mistake defining who she is as a person. Wow, now at three, a twist in the case involving an attempted murder and an Amber Alert. This is a story we first told you about last month. A woman accused of trying to kill her husband and running away with their daughter. But today, as you heard, the husband telling 19 News reporter Katie Tursik he forgives her. Here's more. For her to be released, mainly because She's a wonderful person. Quantez Walter's wife is accused of trying to kill him on Christmas Eve. He says there's been a misunderstanding. Ariel Walters, he says, did not intentionally try to take his life. Everybody makes mistakes. And I don't need this mistake defining who she is as a person. Today, her first time in front of a judge pled not guilty to all of her charges. Felonious assault, endangering children, domestic violence, and attempted murder. Daughter misses her. I know for sure her family misses her. Being behind these bars would not help her. Police say Ariel stabbed Quantez in Lakewood at Cove Park. Right after, they say she took off with their one-year-old, triggering an Amber Alert. After seven days of Lakewood police and the United States Marshals searching for her, she turned herself in. There's supposed to be a well wellness check for my daughter, but as far as like the Amber Alert, I wasn't outside of a hospital to understand or get why it happened. Like, my daughter was safe. Ariel Walters' defense attorney tells me that she has no criminal history. Also, that this incident was a domestic dispute, and she believes that Ariel is not a risk to the public. She will not flee because the most important thing to her is getting back to her child. But the judge disagreed with Ariel's husband and her defense attorney. He set her bond at $250,000, keeping her behind bars until her next court date. In Cleveland, Kate Jersek, 19 News. All right, guys, uh, I got to admit, this story both surprised me with, you know, the reaction of the husband. And it kind of made me mad in, in, in a way, mainly because of this. You heard the man say, oh, I was in the hospital, you know, recovering when, you know, the Amber Alert and everything was looking out. I mean, I, I wasn't there. I couldn't do anything. Life is about cause and effect. Because you were stabbed in a fit of rage or where, whatever she was angry about, she stabbed you and left you for dead and left. The effect is everything being where it's at. 
for you as a man. Now, I know you love your wife and all this stuff to go in there, that courtroom, get in front of a television camera and sit up there and say, oh, we all make mistakes. Her actions shouldn't be, uh, you know, indicative on defining who she really is. If that's the case, every criminal that's in there that does heinous crimes should be, you know, given the same leniency as you do. You want to get this woman out of jail. Look at the charges. Felonious assault. Attempted murder. Child endangerment. And domestic violence. All of that. The state picked up the charges and is the one proclaiming. That's why he's talking like that, because, you know, he, he, he want to drop the charges. All of that stuff that was said, you could have lost your life and you're still sitting up here. Oh, I love my wife. I love it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the big thing is they pick the charges up because they see wrong in it and you don't and you're the victim. For some reason, you, you'll see. A lot of times, police would be called to a house, women teeth knocked out, blood all over the floor, eyes puffed up where she can't even see out of them. She don't want to press charges. She don't want to press charges. Same thing with this, sometimes with dudes. This is simple. This is simple behavior. This woman stabbed you. And it, it, it was bad enough the way you had to spend 11 days in the hospital or, or seven days, whatever. A, a lengthy amount of time recovering because they don't know if you're going to make it or not. She stabbed you, left you for dead, one on foot, took your baby away from you, stabbed you in front of your kid. Oh, she's not a bad person. She didn't. Okay, well, whose fault was it that you got stabbed? Yours? See, the thing is, for him to say this, I was like, why would he say that? So I'm thinking, okay, maybe. You don't want problems with the family by her being locked up because, you know, a lot of times guys will feel guilty because all of this stuff that's being undone. And, you know, he might know her family. He might feel pressure like, oh, man, I feel bad. You know, uh, can't look him in the face. Listen. The story goes when the police came on the scene, guys, they said he was beaten up and stabbed. So she beat your ass, then put the knife in you. Slow and deep. Deep enough to head, you had to stay in the hospital extensive days where you didn't know where your kid was. You didn't know where she was. I think he he dealing with the baby when he is old. It's pressure. A lot of other mitigating factors. He missed his wife. And he just like, oh, I just want this whole thing to go away. This woman almost killed you, bro. Seriously. A lot of times you cannot be, you can't put common sense in the, in the things where there is no common sense or people want to avoid it or, or ignore it. Is this person a bad person? No, what she did was a bad thing to her husband. And I think the state picked it up. And this is the, like what I tell you guys about the penal system. When you go out here and you do something in a fit of rage, even though, you know, you calm down from it, there are consequences behind it. I'm sure she feels sorry that she did that. He feels sorry that it got done to him. They want to put it behind them, but the state's like, no. Nah. Once you get in them behind them uh, bars and gates, it's hard to get out. Once you get in that place, it's hard to get out. This woman going to be locked up for a minute. You know, and then after a while, they say, you know what? I just let her go. She learned the lesson after eight months, a year. She let her, I let her go. They'll drop them charges. She'll take a deal. He going in there speaking for her like a dumbass. Listen, if somebody tried to kill me and then left me there, I could see if she stabbed him. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! She tried to call, she called 911 and tried to help him. This woman took your life almost and took your baby from you. You was in the hospital and didn't know where nobody was at. Make it make sense. I'm Stock Marcus T for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This video right here, man, it made me sick to my stomach. I'm not saying this woman should be flame broiled or anything like that. 
But I mean, for him to get on a new national news thing and talk, he head down, just the body language. Uh, she, mm, oh, man, you look weak. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.